The boom in the Chinese economy is one of the biggest success stories of our age. But as the East Asian country gets opened up more, it's like more people want a slice of the pie. And that's led to enterprising people coming up with their own spin on big name Western products. We think that there are quite a few of them we want to try ourselves. We think they might just be better than the originals. Keep watching because at the end of the video, you'll find out about a toothpaste with a difference. If this is your first time visiting the things, then please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Today we are taking a look at 20 Chinese knockoffs that are actually better than the original. Tuna Sportswear We've all heard of Puma Sportswear, right? But have you ever thought about what an inappropriate name that is? In case you don't have a doctorate in zoology, a puma is basically a rather large kind of cat. And while we love cats, we don't think they are the sort of animals that like to take part in organized sports or even an exercise regime. But a tuna, well that's different. Tunas are fish, and fish swim. If you are making swimwear, that's a definite one-up over puma right there. And even if you aren't, you might be training as part of an exercise program that includes swimming. Plus, tuna is a pretty healthy food, so China wins that one. Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. Cream Between Cookies Oreo cookies are one of America's favorite snack foods, but have you ever stopped to wonder what an Oreo is? We thought it was a small bird which also gave its name to a Major League Baseball team from Baltimore, but that was the Oriole. So we had a look and it turns out that the word was initially used for the biscuit. It has no actual relation to the food. This is unlike cream between, which is a pretty accurate description of the cookie. Okay, it doesn't say what the cream is actually between. It could be between bread or some cushions, hypothetically speaking, but we say that's just splitting hairs. Whoever came up with the name should have made a fortune. Tid Detergent Tide is, when you actually think of it, a pretty odd name to give something that is meant to wash your clothes and make them clean. We get it, the idea that it's like washing your clothes in the sea, but do you know what sea pollution is like these days? It's really bad. So yeah, sure, give your clothes a wash that'll leave them potentially smelling of plastic detritus and far, far worse. Or at the very least, incredibly salty. No, we prefer the Chinese brand, Tid. Did you know that Tid is an old-fashioned word meaning tender, soft, nice? Now we think that we'd like our detergent to be those three things. That's why we go with Tid every time. Obama Fried Chicken While we love a good KFC, we'll admit that maybe Colonel Sanders isn't the best icon a company could have. Let's put it this way, if it wasn't for his fried chicken, would you have heard of him? Probably not. But everyone's heard of Barack Obama, right? Unfortunately for the enterprising person who set up this restaurant in Beijing, the company behind KFC thought the image of the former president was a bit too similar to Harlan Sanders, so they made them get rid of it. Mr. Obama's thoughts on the matter are, as yet, unknown. He wouldn't be the first ex-president to get his name on a chicken shop, either. There's a Kennedy chicken and pizza in Barking, Essex, England. Special man. Can you think of something that you can describe as super? We're sure you can, but there's a problem. And that problem is that everyone's definition of super varies. Oh sure, you might think something is super, but for someone else that could be reasonable. For someone else, it could be pretty dashed awful. And fair play to that person for obviously coming from the 1890s. But anyway, super is a subjective thing. So even for Superman, we're sure someone from the planet Krypton could argue he's actually nothing to write home about man. That's why we like this guy. He's special man. If something is is special, we can generally all agree that it is, and we like his haircut too. Kicker Chocolate Bar The old advertising slogan used to tell us to have a break, have a Kit Kat, all very well and good. Who wouldn't like to unwind with these chocolate-coated wafers? But as with so many things, there was a problem. The problem was that Kit Kats had a very similar name to Kite Kat. That was a type of cat food. We're sure that people who wanted a Kit Kat might have asked someone to get them a Kite Kat by mistake, which would have caused big problems unless that person had a cat. And even then, the cat might not have liked the brand, which is why we think it is a huge relief to ask for a Kicker Bar, like you can in China. Polystation Sony Playstations have been a phenomenal success, selling millions of units over four generations. But don't you think that, as a brand name, Playstation sounds a bit, well, pedestrian? We know what railway stations are, and they can be pretty awful places. You try paying over the odds in a vending machine for a pack of potato chips while it turns out your train is delayed because of cows on the line. Doesn't make you want to play, does it? That's why we like the idea of a Polystation. It's still a station, but it's a station where there's a lot of stuff going on. That means that we can feel as suitably excited as we think we should do. 
Mighty Car. A lot of people who grew up anywhere near the 1980s will have loved the A-Team. Let's face it, it was brilliant. Two things stand out as being particularly fantastic. One of them was the gang's van. It was black, but it had this cool-looking red stripe on it. We wanted a van like that. The second thing was the character of B.A. Baracus, as portrayed by Mr. T. So this toy is the A-Team's van, but it's got B.A. Baracus's head. It's like they fused the two best things together and made it even more amazing. We'd like to know, when else have two brilliant things come together to make something even better? better. E3PO. We aren't even sure where to start with this one. It's that good. The premise is there are two gigantic pop culture movies from the late 70s and early 80s. One is Star Wars and the other is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. They both feature iconic characters, but have you ever looked at E.T. and thought he'd be better if he were a robot? Or looked at C-3PO from Star Wars and thought he'd be more interesting if he looked like E.T.? We're sure you have. We do little bit round our plays. So hats off to the genius who came up with this. It's E.T. as a droid. It's C-3PO with E.T.'s face. It's both. It's neither. It's left us quite literally speechless. Thomas the Transformer Engine Millions of children across the world have fallen in love with the tales of Thomas the Tank Engine, but just as many have fallen in love with the Transformers. So the idea of the super robot Transformer Thomas is, in our humble opinion, raw, undiluted, pure genius. Wouldn't Thomas and friends be even better if he was able to manipulate himself to become a giant robot? And isn't that what the Reverend W. Audrey was aiming at in his books? Well, he probably wasn't, but that's only because the Transformers weren't a thing in 1940s England. If they had, he totally would have been. We're waiting for the Transformers Thomas crossover movie. Word on the Hollywood street is that it's going to star Vin Diesel. New Style Ninja Tortoise Party on and cowabunga, dudes! When we were kids growing up, we loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was amazing, but there was one built-in problem with it. What was going to happen once our sewer-dwelling heroes turned 20? If nothing else, it's going to mess with the scansion of the lyrics, and that is something that quite literally nobody wants. The other thing is we can't quite remember what the difference between a turtle and a tortoise is either. Come to think of it, wouldn't a tortoise be a more common pet to find in New York City? So a new style Ninja Tortoise? That's pretty cool, and it's kind of timely list too. The iPhone boot? Like it or loathe it, the Apple iPhone has revolutionized cell phones since it was first introduced back in the late 2000s. It might seem hard to remember, but the idea of a phone that was purely operated by touchscreen was really fresh. Most mobiles in those days either had a hard keyboard or a stylus attached, but this was something else. So what one smart Chinese entrepreneur did was try to get the excitement of the iPhone and turn it into a piece of footwear. And while some people would prefer an Android phone, more people have a need for something to put on their feet. We reckon these are long-lasting items. There's no need to keep rebooting these iPhones. Dolce and Banana we would like to at least think that we are dedicated followers of fashion here at The Things. We try our best to know our brands and know just what exactly is on trend this season. But we are also fans of good, healthy food, too. And when that's combined with a good pun, we give that a thumbs up. Talking of which, you should totally give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, this particular Chinese brand hits all three targets. It's clearly a tribute to top Italian fashion house Dolce & Gabbana, but it also pays homage to one of our favorite fruits, the banana. And did you know that Dolce is Italian for sweet? And with sweets, a banana. Brilliant stuff. Demon Donkey. One of the more bizarre pop culture phenomena of the 21st century is the appearance of the so-called brony. They are male fans of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic TV show. Although the program's target audience is young girls, grown-up men have got into the show in a big way. They've been drawn into the program's themes of loyalty, friendship, and unity. But what if the original My Little Pony had appealed to little boys in the 1980s? It could have done so pretty easily had it created Demon Donkey. This Chinese creation looks like a nice pony, but it's a demon. It'll probably cause some pretty cool chaos, and that's something that both boys and girls of all ages can enjoy. Harry Potter and the Leopard Walk Up to Dragon It's highly unlikely that there's anyone under the age of 30 in the Western world who has never read a Harry Potter book. They've managed to make both reading and wearing glasses cool. And they're great stories whose plots and characters live on in the hearts of readers. But you know what other book does that? The Hobbit. Ever wondered what would happen if you took J.R.R. Tolkien's classic work and populated it with characters from the Potterverse? We bet you have. But someone from China already did it. The end result is Harry Potter and the Leopard Walk Up to Dragon. A book which literally replaces all the characters in The Hobbit with Potter ones, except for Gandalf. Does this mean he's the best wizard? 
Pika Homer? When we think of classic yellow animated characters, there are two ones that come to mind. The first is Pikachu. He's the little yellow guy from Pokemon. Whether you are talking about Nintendo's iconic video game or the spin-off cartoon, he's the franchise mascot. You might also think about Homer Simpson. The accident-prone, beer-guzzling patriarch of The Simpsons is an icon of our age. Considering the number of jobs he's had, such as astronaut, country and western singer-manager, and farmer, this makes sense. We're sure the creators of The Simpsons could find a link between Homer and the Pokemon Go craze. That's what this person did, and they put it on a sock, and that's why we love them for it. Who are you gonna call? Spook chasers! People who grew up in the 1980s and 1990s are likely to have very fond memories of the real Ghostbusters cartoon. For a certain generation of people, this is the Ghostbusters they remember, rather than the movie kind. But we remember having one problem with the whole idea of Ghostbusters, and that was that we were never entirely sure how busted the ghosts were. And even if we had to call on their services, we're not sure whether we'd want to actually have ghosts busted, so to speak. That's why we prefer the idea someone in China had of spook chasers. They aren't going to hurt the ghosts, they're just going to chase them away. That's the sort of spirit that we like to see. Sunbucks Coffee Sometimes it seems like Starbucks has taken over the world. And while we are partial to a cup of Starbucks, we can't help but feel a little jealous of Chinese people. At least the Chinese people who get to grab a delicious Sunbucks coffee. Why do we prefer it? Well, two reasons. Firstly, you'd think it would be a heck of a lot easier to grow coffee where there was sun rather than stars. From trying to remember our high school biology lessons, that's what's called photosynthesis. Secondly, have you seen the logo? We're never sure what a mermaid has got to do with coffee, but an awesome Chinese-style dragon demon thing? He or she could totally roast some beans by breathing fire on them. Like, just do it. Even we'll have to admit that naming your sports brand after the Greek goddess of victory is way cool. It's what Nike did. It's like you want your win not to just be the result of hard work and smart preparation. No, you also believe that it's to do with the divine powers of your sports uniform. But what if we don't want to base our triumphs on a belief system that, with all due respect, died out more than 2,000 years ago? What if we want it to be about how much we enjoy what we're doing? So that's why we are going to say that the Chinese brand Like gets our vote. Crust toothpaste. What's the thing that you don't want to have on your teeth? It's probably some sort of plaque, or to use a non-medical term, crust. So what could be more appealing than a mention of crust to get you to brush your teeth? Think about it. If you see crust on your toothpaste, then you'll just think of heraldry. And is there any relationship between heraldry and oral hygiene? Nope. But you see crust, and you think that you'd better not have crusty teeth. It's subliminal reverse psychology in advertising. So that's way better. But that got us thinking, when has someone used reverse psychology on you to get you to do something? Tell us in the comments. That's all for our 20 Chinese knockoffs that are actually better than the original. If you liked it, why not check out 5 cartoon reboots that are way better than the original? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!